Hey and welcome to the video on the Space Combat Starter Kit. Now if you start the project up you'll be on the example map and you can immediately play and fly around and uh, AI will spawn periodically on each team and uh, engage each other. For now I'll show you what the project has by starting a new map. So create a new level and name it whatever you'd like. Right click, new level. <coughs> and in the new level we'll go to our blueprints, space, and we'll drag in the background Milky Way. Now to get rid of this annoying light we'll need to drag in a post process. So we'll go to the top left here and go to post process volume, type in post, drag that in. And now on the right go to unbound and enable that. This is so it fills the whole map rather than just inside the trigger box. Now go to settings, go to auto exposure, click on min brightness, max brightness and exposure bias and set all of them to one and then um, what exposure bias does is it when you enter a dark area and then switch to a light area it uh, alters the background lights but it does it works funnily in space so we'll do that so it looks nice now the next thing we'll do is we'll go into our asteroids or our we'll go back to our space folder and we'll go to our um, space roid field We'll drag one of those in from there. Now it'll start dark, so we'll just drag a directional light into the world. Go to the top left, type directional. We'll drag one of those in. Now for our asteroid field, select that. We'll have a bunch of variables on the right. For the total roids, we can increase this to as much as 1,000. We can increase it even more if you like, but we'll start with 1,000. We'll change the max distance XY, that's the XY, so the left and right to say 25,000. We'll give it some height by uh, changing the min distance Z to negative 15,000 by 15,000. Now we have a nice asteroid field. If you want to scale that up you can change the scale. You can increase the max scale to 10. That'll result in huge asteroids. It's a little too big so we'll keep that down by 3. Uh, if you want to affect the scale multiplier, you, this reduces the overall scale of all of them. You can change that. Results in different sizes. So there's a lot of ways to customize your asteroid field. <coughs> now go to the world settings, go to the game mode override, and make sure we have the game mode space combat game mode selected. And then you can hit play and fly around. And included is 6 degrees of freedom flight. So you can go up, down, left, right. I said that backwards, but you get the idea. Has mouse and gamepad support, as well as keyboard. You can uh, hit the left button to fire. Shooting the asteroids will break them. How the asteroid field works is it's highly efficient. Let me just show you. So we have an instant static mesh of the rock, and then we spawn um, a number of asteroids based on the variables we set. <coughs> so for that, we add instances, and then when we instance is hit uh, by a bullet, it gets the nearest asteroid to the bullet and then destroys it. In the full version the bullets won't be there like that, they'll be in effects. And also uh, right now we're using default Unreal rocks. This will be a uh, change to our own asteroid fields that will come with the package, but for now I'm just showing it off with this. There will also be missiles that uh, when you right click they'll fire and trace their target. Now to add um, <coughs> AI you can either drag them in by going to the ships folder and getting the AI fighters. Go to the details panel and you can set their faction. Player faction or enemy faction. Leave it at none by default and it will get the AI controller. But if you want to use spawners to just spawn them in, you can um, drag spawner fighter into the world. And then you can set their faction to spawn. So we'll set this one to player this one to enemy and you can set the distance between time spawn so it's 5 by default so every 5 seconds it will spawn 
So I'm just going to copy this and paste a bunch of them. So there'll be a bunch of fighters. And they'll execute AI and shoot each other. The AI is fairly basic, but it's pretty decent. They'll go in different directions and shoot each other and shoot you. And you're on the uh, blue team by default. All right, and that's the basic introduction to our package. You can buy it now for self on Selfie for $9.99, or come into the Unreal Marketplace soon, hopefully, once it's a little more complete with our own assets and more features. And uh, it'll be constantly updated, and I hope you check it out. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.